Heart disease claims more lives in this country than anything else. And for the more than 3,000 people with heart failure currently waiting for a transplant, every minute is precious. Dr. Jennifer Ashton introduces us to a man who's on the transplant list, but he's regained his freedom by carrying around a remarkable new device. For nearly two years, 43-year-old Charles OKK has tried to live a normal life in the hospital, tethered to a 400-pound machine. It kind of overwhelms you to think I'm stuck to a machine. OKK was barely 30 when a blood clot destroyed his heart. He had a transplant, and for 10 years, life was good for this computer consultant, a father of three. But in 2008, his body rejected that heart, and at that time, another transplant was out of the question. There is a, an artificial heart inside of me um, that the tubes connect to from this exit site right here. The sound you hear is the total artificial heart. Both ventricles were removed along with four valves. Connector tubes were sewn in, and it pumps blood just like a human heart. Tell me about the moment you realized that you had now a total artificial heart there. For the longest time, I could not physically put my hand to my chest because it felt so weird. But OKK's life is about to be transformed. The FDA has just approved this backpack-sized device that runs on batteries and weighs just 13 pounds. It's the first portable technology to support the entire artificial heart. Sensors that used to be the size of a can of soup are now about the size of a quarter. That type of leap in technology has enabled us to downsize the entire console. You're on the new device. Yay! Charles OKK is the first heart patient in the country to test the Freedom Driver. But there are worries. Will this device supply enough power to the heart so the liver and kidneys function too? Will OKK trust his heart to this machine? How comfortable he feels with the device, and that's going to be as important as all the other organs working. After a few more weeks readjusting the Freedom Driver, OKK experiences his freedom for the first time in years. Wow. leaving the hospital with a hero's goodbye. <laughs> Charles has come home where his real heart is. I am about as happy as a person as you can have right now. To be able to sleep in my own bed after two years on a hospital bed, um, you can't imagine. The OKKs know they're not home free. Charles will have to work hard to maintain his health as he awaits a new heart. But if the right match is not found, doctors say he could live indefinitely on this device. And thank you for all your support. I love you guys. This Syncardia Total Artificial Heart costs about $125,000 and about $18,000 a year to maintain, Katie. What a wonderful story. Clearly, he has to hang on to that backpack at all That's times. Right. But could this one day actually replace heart transplants? Perhaps in the future, and it will continue to evolve to a smaller model. But the key, Katie, will be better treatment of those heart failure patients before they get sick enough to require a transplant. All right. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, Jennifer, thanks so much.